So I keep getting asked these questions about Conor Ben. So I thought, you know what, let me just make a video and uh, and give my thoughts on it. That way it's out there and, you know, people can stop bugging me about it. Um, you know, he came out with this statement uh, a few days ago saying his team proved he's innocent and, you know, he's, you know, everybody's going to find out the truth and, you know, all this stuff. Listen, at the end of the day, it's been too long. Uh, after three months of radio silence, um, you know, sorry, but nothing you can say or do is going to change the public opinion. Um, you got caught with t twice with illegal substances in your system. And that's it. You know, it doesn't matter how many lawyers and scientists and how many pages of essays your, your, your people can send to the boxing board and to, you know, whoever else it is, you know, showing that you're innocent or contamination or whatever it is you guys want to put forward. Um, it's just, it's just not going to cut it. It's too little, too late. Um, you know, if, 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 if your team had proved your innocence, it would have been out there. It would have been put out by now. You know, people who are innocent don't go into hiding for, for three months and then start talking about, oh, well, you know, thank you for, to my team, you know, who's, who supported me and who stuck by me and, you know, everything will come to light. It's boring. No one, no one gives a shit. Sorry. Um, you know. An apology is all that you need to give uh, to the fans, you know. Not even to me. I'm okay. I'll, I'll be okay. Uh, the people that bought tickets, the people that traveled, the people that paid money and were let down, um, they deserve an apology. Not, oh, well, I'm going to prove my innocence after failing two drugs tests. Um I said it. Anything. The only. The only way. The, the only possible way that you could prove your innocence is if there's some video out there you've been pinned down by you know multiple multiple males and getting you know jabbed in the ass with some type of syringe uh, while you're kicking and screaming and crying, saying "Stop it." That is the only thing that could. Um, Get you out, get you out of the situation, get you off the hook, get people believing in you. Nothing else, nothing else is going to cut it. Sorry. Uh, you're going to have to be the bad guy now. You're going to have to be what I was for, for 10 years. You know, you're going to have to accept being booed into arenas. You're going to have to, you're going to have to accept being trolled on a daily basis. You're going to have to, you know, you don't have to come to terms with that and embrace it. You know, you're you're still um, you're still gonna make money. You're still people are still gonna watch you fight. Uh, you're just not gonna be the golden child that you know you were built up to be. Um, and that's okay. You know, not everybody can be the good guy. I learned that very early on in my career. Um, so we'll see. Will the fight happen at some point? It's, it's likely a year, two years, 10 years from now, eventually we will fight. Um, but the main thing is that you own up, you man up and you, uh, and you do the right thing, man. That's all, that's all I can say.